opening chase. Fight! Here we go. And we are underway, and Nicky Rod looking to wrestle up a little bit of a feint there, perhaps. Felipe answers back by pulling guard. This is a 30 minute match, so pay attention to the pacing early. Absolutely. Nicky Rod immediately going for what Kendall accurately called the Roddy Lock, mm -hmm. body lock passing system that uh, Nicky has used so much that led to the body lock passing. And it was a lot of the taunting uh, mm -hmm. be beforehand from Felipe Pena that sort of ushered in the pass attempt of Nicky Rod. And right here, you're seeing him. He's getting closer and closer as the match is going on to connecting his hands. One thing that's also great about uh, Nick Rodriguez, aside from being willing to be a last minute replacement in a show as grand with a scale as this, is that he's a constant student of the game. We see highlights on you know his Instagram and social media of him really trying to learn the leg lock game, really trying to open his guard and get good at all these different facets of jiu-jitsu. He doesn't just want to be a one-dimensional uh, competitor. He wants to be. See this insistence on controlling the far side leg. Oh, he's on the leg. Pena. Under the leg is Felipe Pena, unable to. Now he was trying to keep his elbows inside for a moment to avoid the collar tie of Pena. But then as that hand fight ensued, he was able to get back to a body lock once again. But opening up an Uma Plata potentially here with Felipe bringing his left leg over. Oh, here that's we go. Great attempt here from Felipe. Great counter as he oh, comes to top. Here we go. Felipe Pena with the first big attempt of the day, and wow. Nick Rod responds. Wow, Nick did a beautiful job rolling through there. But consistent. The game plan is evident. He wants the body lock. But Felipe Pena needs to make this mid-match adjustment. He has to nip that in the bud. He can't keep letting that happen because this sideways guard with the knee shield low is it's inviting Nicky Rod. Oh, here comes an oh, inversion. Oh, here we go. Oh, Nicky Rod in. Sits oh, back oh my goodness. He's on a heel. Felipe Nicky Rod is in on a heel. heel. There's not a lot of hip control yet from Mickey Rod, but this is not a place you want to hang out if you're Felipe Pena. Could this be it? Oh, Felipe Pena, though, hitting the reversal. Might peek, out, bit, might peek out to the back. Oh, here we go. And the takedown defense of Nick Rodriguez. This is our main event, ladies and gentlemen. Chase? Yes. It will be at 10 minutes. So I'm very, very interested to see who our judges are favoring at that time. There he goes. Here we go. Wow. Here we go. Huge sweep there from now Pena. Now can Felipe stay on top? But now Nick on his own attack. Oh, Nick going for a footlock. Felipe Pena shaking his head, but Nick Rodriguez is really biting and on And this is what Felipe Pena has done to so many before. Nicky Rod is hit the back off of these kind of exchanges. Can he secure the position? I think Nick needs to keep moving. Wow! Will he end up on top? top? Oh, what an exchange! Oh, nice inversion from Felipe. Chases the leg now. Leg. Here we go! Nick trying to kick out here. Just a grip over the heel by Felipe Pena, possibly getting up. Wow! And once again, Rodriguez drops his hips down. A great adjustment from Rodriguez there to avoid it. Urgent fans of Felipe Pena, possibly friends yelling. No body lock. Stay away from the body lock. <laughs> yeah, I imagine we're all on the same page. See a little cartwheel action there from Nick, which opens up his leg just for a moment. Oh, oh. Out of again. But it slips off. Nick. And man, you would not think that Nicky Rod even took this fight on three days notice no. with, with how well he's kept up with Felipe Pena. And mind you, Felipe Pena right now, I believe he's still in the lead. But Nick Rodriguez is doing a great job for himself Staying with the passes. I mean, look how aggressive he's being. He's waiting forward, really trying to win this match. I and what a story that would be. It's extremely close. And Nicky Rod again pressuring forward. If he, if he solidifies a pass, that may be enough. I don't want to call it. I'm glad I'm not a judge. Guard. This is a good body lock here from Rodriguez, but a big elevation from Pena will say otherwise. Here we go, possible look. What a classic match. This has been incredible. Wow. Oh, here Nicky we go. Oh, here we go. From Nick. Let's see if Felipe can reverse his position one more time, maybe chase the back. And this is where Pena needs to be. This he needs to be trying to pass the guard of Nicky Rodriguez, but looking this could be a dangerous spot. Nick Rodriguez looking at a heel hook. Nick knows he needs a submission oh, to change. 
to change it, to get a strong attempt, to change the judge's favor, even if he doesn't get the finish. This is a huge Oh my goodness! Deal. This looks tight! Will Nick Rodriguez get the tap? This could be enough. Even if he doesn't get the tap, this could be enough to change the judge's mind. Felipe Pena oh really doesn't God. like it! Look at the torque on that foot. Felipe Pena really doesn't like the torque on it! What an attempt from Nick Rodriguez, and he ends up on top! But now he's be very careful in this position because Felipe can turn it into an attack of his own. Oh my goodness, one minute, 45 seconds left, and Nick Rodriguez may have just very well seconds in our main event. Felipe Pena goes one more look at this Oma Plata, but that is gonna Stop. be it. What a match here tonight to conclude things at who's number one. We'll be back in a minute with our winner. Stay tuned. Philippe Pena! Philippe Pena is the winner. What a contest between these two titans. We're going to take it over to Kendall Rusing for what I imagine will be a colorful post-fight interview.